We're working on unstopping a pneumatic tank today. There'll be days like this. Unstopping the tank. It's simple steps. Open the blow down, close the aerators, and go to the rear hopper. Uh, it's just getting it in your head. And you get out there on your own. Sometimes you get a little nervous and you get all messed up. Uh, thank my trainee today for helping me out. I'm training a guy, so I'm in the middle of training and trying to do a video at the same time. So it's going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll get through it. But today we are working on unstopping a stop up on a pneumatic tank. And usually it happens sometimes somewhere between the rear of the truck and the silo. If the product is flowing good, you can see these hoses are jumping. This is the product hose behind the tank. Product's flowing through it. That's the normal unload. A lot of times I'm unloading, I'm watching my gauges, but I keep a lot of eyes on them hoses. The way they're jumping and the way they're moving tells me a lot about how I'm unloading. Uh, whether I'm unloading in clumps or if it's unloading smooth. That's that's a smooth unload there. I'm unloading around about 14, 13, 14 PSI. Just a good steady flow going through the hoses. That's good there. Uh, one of the first things that happen when you stop up, your pop-off will pop off. And usually it'll be a lot more aggressive than that. And again, I'm training today, so it's a little unique. We're going to go around back. We think we stopped up, so we're going to check the product hose. Remember how it was flowing a while ago and it was jumping? Now it's going to be real heavy product stuck in it nothing's flowing through it it's not jumping it's not moving at all it stopped up we're gonna go to the product line that we was flowing out of we're gonna close it he's watching the gauges if the product gauge drops right here you're not stopped up but if you close that product gauge and that product gauge stays up you're you're stopped up we're gonna open the blow down we want to get the tank pressure to zero five somewhere below five anyway we want to get it real low the whole concept here is when we, in a minute, when we open the valve, we're going to have the pressure on zero, but the product valve is going to be about 15 to 17 PSI. He just closed the aerators. That's important. we got to get all the pressure from the pump going down to the bottom through that product line, 100% of the pressure. Be sure and leave the pressure control open at this point. We've got to have all the pressure going down. We're going to open and close the rear hopper. Uh, when we open and close this hopper, when we open it, the pressure shoots up into the tank. You know, high pressure is going to go to low pressure. Tank has no pressure. So when he opens it, the pressure is going to shoot up into the tank. When he closes it, all that pressure is going to slap against the stop up. The closed valve causes all pressure to push up on the stop up. There you go. When we close it, all the pressure shooting through the product valve straight from the tank. It could take several tries. I have, I have food with this five or ten minutes. You open and close it. When he closes it, the, the pressure will rise. It'll go up to about 15 to 16 PSI. When he opens it, it's going to drop to about 5 PSI. Close it. Like I said, you might close it and open it 20 times. When you close it, it's going to rise. And it's going to go up and it's going to be steady. This gauge is a little off. I just realized when we started this video that I had a little bitty leak on the back of it. It's about 5 PSI off. But it's gonna, he's going to let it drop to about 5, and he's going to let it rise to about 15 or 17. We do, we're determined around 13 is probably about 16. So we're letting the pressure rise, and we're letting the pressure fall. When you open that valve, you can literally feel the product from the hose being sucked up into it. You can feel it shaking. When, when it's closed, the pressure rises. Yeah, close it right here. The pressure rises. We're pushing on the product now. We're pushing hard on it. He opens it, that product and the air is shooting up into the tank. In a minute, he's going to close it, and that pressure, that valve, that, uh, all right, there it went. He closed it, and that gauge shook a little bit, and when it starts shaking, you're reading the product moving, it dropped. We unstopped it. And that's it, guys, unstopping the 